In question one of this exercise, we have to find the sum of rational numbers in each of the following. To do this problem, we will make use of the fact that rational numbers can be added just like how we add fractions. So to calculate each sum, we will take the two rational numbers given, write equivalent rational numbers for them with the same denominator and then simply add the numerators to find the sum. Okay, so let's start with the first part. In the first part, we have to add 5 by 4 and minus 11 by 4. So these two numbers already have the same denominator 4. So let's simply add the numerators. So this will give us 5 plus minus 11 by 4, right? And 5 plus minus 11 is minus 6. So we will get minus 6 by 4 and HCF of 6 and 4 is 2. So we divide by 2 above and below. So that will give us minus 3 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. So we will get minus 3 by 2. So in part 1, the sum is minus 3 by 2. This is the answer for part 1. Then in part 2, we have to add 5 by 3 and 3 by 5. So the denominators in this case are 3 and 5. The LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. So let's convert both of them to equivalent rational numbers with denominator 15. So 5 by 3 can be written as 25 by 15 and 3 by 5 can be written as 9 by 15. So we get 25 by 15 plus 9 by 15. Now we add the numerators. So we get 25 plus 9 by 15 and 25 plus 9 is 34. So we get 34 by 15. So in part 2, the sum is 34 by 15. So this completes part 2 and now we come to part 3. In part 3 we have to add, min we have to calculate minus 9 by 10 plus 22 by 15. The denominators are 10 and 15 and the LCM of the denominators is 30. So let's write both of them as equivalent rational numbers with denominator 30. So minus 9 by 10 can be written as minus 27 by 30 and 22 by 15 can be written as 44 by 30. And now this sum, we can add the numerators. So we can get minus 27 plus 44 and this whole thing divided by 30. Now minus 20, 27 plus 44 is 17. So we will get 17 in the numerator and 30 in the denominator. So in part 3, the sum is 17 by 30 and this completes part 3 and now we come to part 4 in which we have to calculate minus 3 by minus 11 plus 5 by 9. The denominators are minus 11 and 9. The LCM of 11 and 9 is 99. So let's write both of them as equivalent rational numbers with denominator 99. So to convert minus 3 by minus 11 into a rational number with denominator 99, we can multiply above and below by minus 9. So that will convert it into 27 by 99. And similarly, the second number 5 by 9, we can write this as 55 by 99. If you want, you can pause the video and verify these calculations. I'm writing uh, these directly. And now we can write this as 27 plus 55 divided by 99, correct? And then 27 plus 55 is 82. So we will get 82 by 99. So in part 4, the sum is 82 by 99. So that completes part 4. And now we come to part 5 in which we have to calculate minus 8 by 19 plus minus 2 by 57. The denominators are 19 and 57. The LCM of these two is 57 because 19 times 3 is 57. So minus 8 by 19, we can write this as minus 24 by 57. And then the second number, we leave it as it is minus 2 by 57. And now we add the numerators. So minus 24 plus minus 2 and divide this by 57. Minus 24 plus minus 2 is minus 26. So we get minus 26 in the numerator and 57 in the denominator. So in part 5, the sum is minus 26 by 57. This completes part 5. 
and now we come to part 6 in which we have to add minus 2 we have to calculate minus 2 by 3 plus 0 so if we add uh, 0 to anything anything we will get the same number because 0 is the additive identity uh, for rational numbers so minus 2 by 3 plus 0 will simply be equal to minus 2 by 3 itself okay so in part 6 the answer is minus 2 by 3 so that completes part 6 and finally now we come to part 7 in which we have to calculate minus 2 and 1 by 3 plus 4 and 3 by 5 so these two rational numbers are written in mixed form let's first write them in the normal form so minus 2 and 1 by 3 can be written as 3 into 2 is 1 uh, 3 into 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 7 uh, 6 plus 1 is 7 so we can write the first number as minus 7 by 3 plus then the second number is 4 and 3 by 5 so 5 into 4 is 20 20 plus 3 is 23 so we can write the second number as 23 by 5 okay and now the denominators are 3 and 5 their LCM is 15 so let's write both of them as equivalent rational numbers with denominator 15 so minus 7 by 3 can be written as minus 35 by 15 we multiply uh, the first number with 5 abo above and below and then the second number 23 by 5 can be written as 69 by 15 okay and now we can add the numerators so this will be equal to minus 35 plus 69 by 15 minus 35 plus 69 is 34 so we get 34 by uh, 15 so in part 7 the sum is 34 by 15 so that completes part 7 and with this we have completed question number 1 to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.